Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to a new episode of Windows. I'm your host for tonight, Mohammed Abdrahim, and tonight we're going to be talking about uh, Women's International Day uh, uh, and uh, women empowerment in uh, Egypt. Uh, um, and we have the great pleasure of having with us here in the studio Dr. Asma Azini. She's a PhD researcher and she's a graduate of the presidential program she leads. A very good evening to you, Dr. Asma, and thank you for joining us. Good evening. Thank you for having me today. Thank you, uh, Dr. Asma. So, Women's International Day, which coincides with the 8th of March uh, um, every uh, year. Uh, let's start with Women's International Day. What does it mean for us here in Egypt, especially that Egypt has taken great strides in women empowerment uh, in the past 10 plus years? Uh, uh, so talk to us and, and how will we celebrate uh, Women's Day here in Egypt? Uh, first of all, uh, the Women International Day is a worldwide uh, celebration. It's not only in Egypt. Egypt has its own special day. We consider March as the month of women. We have the very special day of Egyptian women, which is going to be 16th, 16th of March. Mm -hmm. uh, the International Women Day is somehow... 8th of March? Uh, yes. yes. It is a celebration of the first uh, revolt of women for calling for their rights for voting. And the whole world it beca beca after that became celebrating the same day. What, what type of celebrations? It differs from country to country. I know that in some countries, like in China, for example, women have a leaf mm. and that, that we wish in Egypt to have <laughs> the same, <Yeah. laughs> same trend. Okay. And, and in many other countries. But most countries celebrate the day by having public events, public talks about how to improve the position of women in their countries. Yeah, and, and of course, March also, since you mentioned uh, that uh, uh, March is the month, uh, is Women's Month here in Egypt, uh, March is uh, where Mother's Day is on the 21st of, uh, of March. That's so we what have, you call yeah. the month of women. Yeah, 8th of March, 16th yeah. of March, 21st <laughs> yes. of March. So, Dr. Asma, this year's um, uh, UN-sponsored uh, uh, Women's International Day is under the um, slogan or the theme, Invest in Women. Yes. Um, achieving gender equality and women's well-being in all aspects. Talk to us about that theme, invest in women, accelerate progress. This yes. is the theme of the UN. This, this is year. a slogan of yes. this year's celebration of uh, mm. the women, the months of women or the International mm. Women's Day and Egyptian Women's Day. Uh, investing in women is really uh, uh, a very clear uh, direction of the current uh, political leadership in Egypt. President Sisi, in countless occasions, uh, assured that women are in the core and in the heart of the interest of the Egyptian leadership. No one can deny the positions that women in late years occup occupied in many, many positions. Uh, the, the last Egyptian constitution, which was in, I believe, in 2019, gave unprecedented percentage for women in most positions. The, for the, the parliament, it is stated that the percentage of women in, uh, in the parliament should not be less than 25 seats, percentage of the seats of the council. And it, it is reached a, a percentage in Egypt, which, which is ranking number two in all Africa and Middle East. Mm. In current parliament, there are a percentage, I believe, like 28, not 25, 28 unprecedented percentage of women as representatives in the parliament and also in the Congress. They have like a 14 percentage of the, the whole council. And this is what we call a triumphant. Indeed. <laughs> Yes. And we'll be talking more about uh, women empowerment in Egypt and try to link it with Women's International Day and this year's UN slogan, Invest in Women Accelerating Progress. According to the official um, UN website talking about this day, there are five key areas where uh, action is needed. So I'm going to ask you about each of them and, and please try to link it to Egypt and what's been happening in Egypt actually in the past 10 plus years. Yes, actually what the UN did for uh, investing in women uh, comes un came generally under the concept of uh, SGs, uh, mm. yes. SDGs. Yes, SDGs, yes. 
goals. Uh, I believe in two goals, two specific goals, the one relevant to freedom and one relevant to education and empowerment. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, investing in women is a human rights issue. That's yeah. uh, the, the first it one. Is. Time is running out. Gender equality is the greatest human rights challenge uh, benefiting everyone. So human rights for women in Egypt, how have they evolved in the last 10 years or so under the uh, leadership of His Excellency, the President? Yes, you can, you can witness this. I can tell you that a few days ago we, wit we witnessed the third Egyptian summit uh, uh, celebrating the rights of Egyptian women. I can tell you about the partnership that the, the National Council for Women had with many, many international bodies for UN women, uh, modern and childhood uh, bodies, and many, many international bodies, and even national bodies. The main care of the council is to spread the awareness about, uh, among women about what they can achieve. This is one of the main uh, targets of the National Council for Women under the leadership of President Sisi. In every and all occasions, he is assuring that we are going to give women their due positions because they are able to do. They, uh, uh, what I notice that it is not about giving the right, it's about empowering them correctly mm. to perform their roles. Mm. Not to give you, I can give you the right to be in a certain position without training you and without preparing you for this position, it is going to be like a catastrophe, mm. not, not helping mm. you to take the position. Mm. What I myself witnessed that the, our uh, political leadership is so keen on training and uh, educating and preparing one, women right. in the right way to, to help these positions in every place. Right. Uh, I, I guess an essential part of, of human rights is good health and, and, and good education. Tell us about the efforts that have been made in Egypt uh, uh, recently regarding the education of young girls, the education of women, and also the health initiatives, the many, yeah. many initiatives that targeted women and helped yes. women. Uh, if we are going to count, we are going to be tired. Count the, uh, the Decent Life Initiative. Right, Haya Karima, right. Yeah, Haya Karima Initiative. It, I believe more than half of the people who benefited from this initiative are women who are uh, taking care of their families right. in very poor areas all over Egypt. And other initiatives for health caring and for educating and training, as I told you, uh, in partnership between the National Council of, uh, for Women and other Egyptian bodies, they are taking all care of how to educate and raise awareness, political awareness, educational, financial, uh, health care, everything. They are raising awareness of women in areas that we never dreamed that, one can, that no one can reach. Mm. Go to the Egyptian villages, see how people are uh, uh, learning about and, and, and knowing about how to, to keep their rights and how to deal correctly with the systems. Mm. Young girls, old ladies, all mm. females are, mm. are, are having a chance mm. like, like never before. And I, I want to raise with you the, uh, the fact that uh, uh, women were the um, major represented the majority of voters yeah. in, in, the, in the last presidential <laughs> elections. Uh, um, tell us about that. So women are now exercising their political rights more than men. So, so <laughs> it, it seems the awareness is, is there yes, uh, it is on raising. time. Yes, mm. it is witness that we can say that women are, uh, are doing the, the, they are returning the favor that their country are doing for them. You can witness the attendance of the majority of women in all uh, elections since uh, they were given the right to attend elections. Uh, this is reflects the idea that women are, they are efficient, they are able to change. In case you prepare them very well, let them know about what they can do and they can do. When they feel their power, they feel that they are able, they are efficient enough to do the function, they do it the right. Whenever our country, I see that participation in election is a responsibility and a duty. Mm. It is not to go, only to go. It is what to say when you go. Mm. What, how, how you choose, how you are able to mm. differentiate between what's good and bad what is for the right of your country. This right. is what the country, the political leadership currently is, is working on. To Absolutely. give them, yes, full appellatives. And, and it was clear, of course, in the, in, in the presidential uh, elections. Uh, elections. Yes. Absolutely. 
The legislation, I, uh, tell me about the legisla le legislative efforts, the legislative uh, advancements that we have made here in Egypt to protect women, women's financial rights, uh, women's, uh, yeah, women's marital rights, and, and so on. Uh, as I told you a few minutes ago that the last the constitution, the latest the constitution of Egypt, uh, I believe 2019, stated on the, and the percentage of representation of women in all councils, mm. parliament, congress, mm. and even in, in very high level judicial bodies. Right. And in high position, I believe that in some banks also. Right. The no, I'm just asking here about the, the, the protection of women in society. Uh, like protecting her from violence, yeah. protecting her uh, from uh, abuse, say... Here comes but, but the role yeah. of, of awareness. Mm -hmm. After giving women the right to be in, this, in these positions, very high positions, then comes the, 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 the effort to, to save them from against any discrimination, regardless of this kind of a discrimination, whether in, in, in occupying position or having violence against them in these positions. I believe that uh, without the, the, what the Egyptian law and the constitution stated about it, women will, would never been able to achieve what they achieved. Right. Ending poverty. Uh, as you said, the UN's um, slogan this year is linked to sustainable development goals. One of them is ending poverty. So uh, uh, the UN states that after Corona, the, the coronavirus pandemic, uh, many more uh, people fell into poverty worldwide, including, of course, women by nature. And so over 342 million women and girls uh, um, are uh, estimated uh, to live in poverty by the year 2030. Tell us about the efforts here in Egypt, other than Haya Karima, of course, which has played a big, big role, the Decent Life Presidential Initiative in you know, ending the poverty. Tell us about other efforts by the government, by the NGOs. Yes, by I believe during the last women uh, summit that was a few days ago, uh, during one of these sessions, uh, I believe that the number of entrepreneurs uh, we are participating in this only summit mm. exceeded 300 women. Can you believe it? In Egyptians, the, in Egypt, uh, Egyptian women are, give, are having support from banks and, and all supporting bodies to, to start their own kind of business. They are entrepreneurs gaining their money by their own, not waiting for a position in a, to work in a, the government or any other place. This is a, a remark that Egypt is trusting the power of the Egyptian women. They can do it. If they can work on their own, they are going to be successful. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, shifting to a green economy and care society is, is another point mentioned by the United Nations. And I, I have to assume that when we talk about things that are friendly to the environment or green economy, that probably women would tend to, to care more, probably, <laughs> uh, about you know, the, the planet, about the globe, about Earth, about this environment. This is the same that what yes. the United Nations believes, uh -huh. that women Good. disregard. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. That, yeah. It's close to their nature. Yeah. They are keen on keeping environment. That's mm. why uh, I told you that uh, SGO, uh, SE jo, uh, SDG SDGs. goals, yeah. yes. Uh, comes in uh, and confirm with the Egyptian uh, empowerment policy strategy for women 2030 and they are taking care of this part keeping environment because women are really able to do it <laughs> absolutely they do it better than men absolutely for yeah. sure now also finally supporting feminist change makers Yes, because women are able to to achieve change when they are convinced what uh, about the, that what, what they are doing is right, they can convince you easily. This, this is why in some organizations they are benefiting from women in the positions for negotiating mm -hmm. because they are able, able to tell you even if uh, psychologically and physically there are some weak women. This is not, not, not something to deny. This but is nature. Actually, yeah, yeah, this is by nature, I mean. Mm -hmm. But I believe that number of women, they are, when they are trained very well, mm. they are able to do the, the, the function of negotiating. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, and the woman negotiates, I mean, uh, in her house. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah, and exactly. Kids go to she, the markets. <laughs> yeah, uh, she she is the the mother. She is yes. the wife. She is the sister and mom. Yeah, exactly, uh, uh, and the daughter and everything. Yeah. So I mean, she and and we. I, I will go back to women empowerment in, in Egypt uh, in a short while, Dr. Asme, but allow me to ask you about uh, uh, a couple of, of things here. Because we have to remember now uh, the women of Gaza, yeah. the women of occupied Palestine, because the world's gift to them this year is the killing of at least 9,000 women. Yes at the hands of the barbaric Israeli aggression in Gaza. Of course, the, uh, the wounding of thousands of others. Yes. And, and when we talk about you know, more than 10,000 children killed, yes. I mean, those children had, had women mothers. So tell, tell us about the suffering, the huge suffering of the Palestinian women at the moment, and especially the women in Gaza, and what is needed from, you know, from us, from the globe to support these women on International Women's Day? It is a good thing when we are talking about the International Women's Day the, to never forget the Palestinian, the suffering of the Palestinians, uh, generally speaking, and the suffering of the Palestinian women. You mentioned the huge number of the women killed during the aggression against Palestine. And also mentioned that, the, remember that the number of, of killed children the bravery of the mothers of these killed the children uh, it is something unbelievable the, their bravery how they are strong uh, if you are going to to, to listen to the, their speeches in media they are very stable they are showing a patience in a, in a form that no one can strength, believe strength a lot of strength they are yes. strong yes mm -hmm. i believe the more suffering they are having giving them more power making them stand fast I believe the whole world should stop the, the aggression on the, the whole Palestinian nation and especially on the Palestinian women because uh, <laughs> the doctors told us about the suffering of some women giving birth without having any medication or even uh, wounds and, and everything. This is something unhuman. Mm. The whole world should stand hand mm. in hand to stop this. Indeed. Egypt is exerting most possible effort to stop this aggression. And the, the last effort was the meeting that was held today. Absolutely, political efforts, uh, efforts in try delivering aid. And yes. even when Israel blockades yes. this, uh, this aid and makes Crosses, things yes. difficult, we have the, aerial, the, yeah, the aerial drops. Uh, a very tough situation, Palestinian women are living. And even those who are alive and who haven't lost children, and who weren't wounded, uh, uh, um, maybe they lost their homes. Their families. Maybe they their don't supporters. Have, yes. They don't have enough money to, to eat. And even the conditions clean, they are living water. every day, this is yeah. unhumane and accepted. Mm. Mm. Un no medicine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No anything. They yeah. are living in the, the mm. streets. Mm. 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 And this is something unaccepted at all. Inhumane, home. as you said. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, you know, as one best described it, I mean, Israel is not fighting Hamas. Israel is fighting women and children. Yeah, it is I true. mean, the majority of the casualties have been women and children. And people who are going, are going to suffer for many, many years are only women and the children. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Ramadan is another <laughs> point I wanted to, to talk about. Of course, uh, happy Ramadan, inshallah, a few <laughs> days. Uh, and the blessed holy month will begin. Uh, what about women's role in, in Ramadan? It seems that, <laughs> you know, uh, in Ramadan, a women's role gets even more important. I don't know. I don't know why, but this is <laughs> Maybe my imagination. Maybe because, because of your memories as a child in your <laughs> home with your mom. Yeah. This is something inside yeah. all of us. Mm. Uh, Ramadan, Ramadan means a lot to to every one of us, it is a very special month of the year. Uh, it's a bless from Allah. And of course, uh, having uh, women among families makes Ramadan has a very special taste. No one can forget the taste of the very delicious dishes prepared by moms and also the, their keenness on making their children uh, First Fast. the months of yes, the exactly. Ramadan are uh, helping you step yeah, by step to yeah, start the journey. Yeah. And they take it easy on kids. Yes. So, uh, 
unlike the fathers when who the, are, when might the be children, a little yes, bit when tough, the children yeah. complain yeah. mom i'm hungry okay. go to sleep wait a little better <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's going the maghrib is going to yeah. to be so soon yeah. uh, especially uh, nowadays was yeah. uh, some very hard uh, economic conditions i believe that women need to play a uh, more important role in making the, the life of all families more pleasant yes they indeed. need to be more able to organize everything right right i i believe they have a very tough hard task. duty yes yes, yes. indeed yes. indeed uh, as if they didn't have tough tasks <laughs> before because they are used yeah. to this <laughs> yes exactly i mean sometimes when i hear like women represent half of the society no really i mean you get the feeling it's more than half it's not yeah, just half. they are bringing the other half bringing exactly. up the other half exactly. there are half actually of the society and responsible for the other half in in, in in one way or another absolutely uh, uh women here in egypt dr asma uh, have had a, a big role in uh, fighting uh, extremist ideas yes. uh, um you know they've had their role in fighting terrorism fighting the extreme ideas talk talk to us about that because women are the the true source of love and keenness they have a greater responsibility in regard of stopping violence because uh, violence or kindness is something that is planted in you inside the human as early as possible once he didn't have the enough care inside his family it's going to be a big problem after that and even for adult people the only one is able to discuss your own ideas is the, the nearest female to you whether it is a mom or a wife or a sister or whatever she's able to correct your ideas that's a very important role that we sh should pay attention to women should be very well prepared in regard of fighting violence because they are closer to the people uh, who are practicing violence sometimes a man cannot convince a man to change his mind some females are are able to do this mm. if they are keen uh, and they are very well trained on this mm. educated and they have evidence of what they are saying they can make you change your mind so the women can play a very important role in this regard definitely and and i i i i would assume especially the women mother because I, I, I mean she can influence her son sure. better than anyone else in, in the world I and think. wives and and wives as well yes okay not all wives of course <laughs> some <laughs> <Yeah>. wise wives <laughs> yes. okay um so uh, dr asma what, what about the challenges that face the women empowerment in egypt yes we've taken big strides y yes um uh, women have been uh, empowered uh, 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 relative, uh, relative, you know, to prior prior years, um, very much. But there are challenges. Yes. There, there are areas sure. that we still to work on. Let's so be open. Let's about, speak yeah. up and be yes, open. Yes, please. Not o not all what is mentioned in laws and regulations is applied on the ground, because we need. If we need to change, it is not only about uh, changing rules. It is about the changing mindset little bits uh, so our some of our egyptian communities i mean inside uh, some parts of the country are male dominated societies and this is true we need if you need to change you need to change the mindset start to uh, it is important to speak to women to make them know their powers and their what they can achieve and it is equal important to talk to men to educate them about it is not something bad to have your partner as a, a female in positions in doing everything Re uh, speak about in some uh, upper egyptian uh, right uh, cities. right right <laughs> there are the grandmother is the queen <laughs> yeah she's she's yeah. more than a queen yes yeah. and in other places there are no rights at, o at all for mm. some women mm. We need to, to balance the process. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I, I wanted to talk about that chronology <laughs> uh, that we've had here in Egypt. For instance, in the pharaonic times, yeah. we've had women, many, many women yes, leaders. Right. Uh, uh, in Islam, uh, we, we've yes. had also many women leaders. And, and as you mentioned, uh, I was going to mention that Upper Egypt thing because I, I, I noticed that... Uh, um, there are women in, in, in Egypt, especially in Upper Egypt, that 
rule. I mean, they simply dominate. I mean, one word they say, Is this the situation? Yeah, it's, it's sacred. I mean, yes. yeah. So, so tell us about that discrepancy because you, you meant, but first of all, give us the chronology because women in Egypt, especially yes. over the history have had their share of, yes, uh, of dominance. When, when we read about the history and the manuscripts of the ancient Egyptians, there are many queens and pharaohs which ruled and were strong enough to rule a whole a huge mm. country and mm. a strong country like Egypt mm. and even parts of Africa. Mm. Mm. Uh, if we come to the recent ages, uh, first of all, the, the Muslim age, uh, the, the, the yeah. beginning of Muslim, Muslim era, yeah. I was recently sitting with a group of uh, some foreigners and they were asking me about... Sagarat al No, no, yeah. the, the, the uh, model role in my life. Okay. I was telling them about Lady Khadija. Okay. They were surprised. Who mm. is Lady Khadija? Mm. No one knew about her. Mm. No one knew that the wife of the Prophet was his first supporter and the strongest, the first human, not the first mm. the woman or man, mm. first the human to, to believe, believe in, in the Islam, yes. yes. Exactly. And she supported him in right. unprecedented way, right. even in she hadith. She was a businesswoman, she was uh, financially... A mega yeah, businesswoman, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. She supported him psychologically, mm. Uh, mm. Um, uh, financially, in every mm. possible way. Mm. Uh, we need to spread this about mm. our um, uh, Islamic history. We mm. need to write more and have more talks about the, mm. the important role that Muslim women played at the very beginning of the Islamic history. Mm. If we come to the modern history, talk about every mom, every family. It is one word, as I told you before. When they disagree b about whatever they, they are disagreeing about, let any mom mm. say one word. Mm. Everyone is silent. Mm. And this is something so good. Mm. It is something nice to have like someone to return to when you are in a big problem. Mm. Mm. And alhamdulillah, we have this in yeah. the Egyptian families. Alhamdulillah. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, where, where the, the mother or, or the grandmother is something highly like respected. a judge. Highly Something like highly a judge. Yeah, exactly. Even by and very whatever important she, yeah, men. Yeah, yeah, ex you absolutely. can have in families right. very important in very important position mm. when they come to the mm. grandmom or the mm. mom mm. and she starts to speak, everyone is silent. Right. Uh, and and she can be the, the, ju the, uh, the judge, I mean. The ruling. I mean, if there's a problem. This okay, is my she opinion. Says th yeah, this is my opinion. This done. is what shall be done. Okay. Done. <laughs> okay, we got it. Yeah. Yes. Fine. So is this something just special about Egypt or is it also in general in Arab or I believe or in Arab world, world in, uh, uh, in other Muslim in countries, I believe in mm. even non-Arab countries like in Malaysia mm. and Indonesia. Mm. I had talks about, about this uh, mm. situation and they told me women are same respected like this mm -hmm. in their communities. But okay. not in European communities, I'm, I'm okay. not aware about this, okay. but in some non-Arab Muslim communities, yes, okay. the same situation. So finally, what are the areas that you want to see... Um, uh, be, you know, development in when it comes to women's empowerment. We, you talked about uh, raising awareness, about changing the mentality in some uh, um, places, uh, some geographical uh, zones uh, in, in Egypt. Um, what else? Uh, I hope that uh, in the near future we have more ra of raising awareness among student girls, uh, student in schools, I mean, and in, in faculties and universities. Mm. Because as, as you start as soon as possible, you achieve more results. I mean in a balanced way, not to make them feel that they are over everything they can do, whatever in the world they can do, but at least make them able to choose. When you start early, this is some, some, something that you plant in a, uh, in a wise way. We don't need very strong women challenging whatever. We need wise women mm. to, to be aware of their real power and they are uh, an efficient power in their communities. Uh, whether in, inside families, in workplaces, in educational places, in, in bodies, in, in organizations, they need to know that they can do it. As the political leadership is believing in them, they should be, uh, they should appreciate this caring of them. Right. To do the right for their country. Absolutely. And, and, and the girls and, and, and women are, are, uh, are doing that. Uh, I mean, and we want to see more, of course. But, yes, yes. But, uh, as early as possible. And the education here is yeah. the key. So I believe we need to add something to our curriculum that make women more aware of what is done for them 
to appreciate this effort. Right. And um, a word before Ramadan? I wish you and our dear viewers and every Muslim celebrating all over the world to have a very blessed Ramadan and to come close Amen. to Allah. Amen. 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 Dr. Asma Azzaini, uh, a PhD researcher and graduate of the presidential program she leads. Thank you very much for leading our discussion tonight. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, you Dr. Asma, and thank you, dear viewers, for watching this episode of Windows. Please stay with my TV touch. Goodbye.